Up first is going to be Branson Bofat, and following Branson will be Cheryl Fault. And Branson, you can unmute yourself and go. Okay, hi everybody. Uh, when last we convened, uh, I played a Danny O'Keefe song for you that um, uh, at least Dan and probably others recognize that uh, Jackson Brown had covered. And um, uh, if you're into um, singer-songwriters, I'd encourage you to take a listen to Danny O'Keefe, uh, his 70s albums. If you listen to them, you'll hear songs that you have heard others do. One I thought uh, I'd play for you tonight is another one in my repertoire that um, probably most closely associated with Danny O'Keefe, unless maybe you've heard the Elvis version. Britson, you might want to get your guitar levels up just a bit. If you, that a little weak? No. That was a little weak. That's better. Too much, maybe? It's not too much by itself. Okay. I mean, assuming well, your voice uh, level is good for you. And uh, the vocal mic is okay? Vocal mic, I think, is okay for that, yeah. All right, well, we'll uh, let's give this go a on. Everybody's gone away Said they're moving to L.A. There's not a soul I know around Everybody's leaving town Some caught a freight, some caught a plane the sunshine leave the rain they said this town will waste your time yes they're right it's wasting mine some gotta win some gotta lose good time charlie's got the blues Good time, Charlie's got the blues. You know, my heart keeps telling me you're not a kid at thirty-three. Thank you. <laughs> Tom Horsky, I think that echo, I think we're hearing echo from you. So if you can figure out what to do about that, that'd be good. It seems to happen when you, when you unmute. Um, but yeah, that was great, Branson. 
That's another one that I recognize from somebody covering it. <laughs> we met several people covering it. Okay, so thanks, Princeton. That was great. Up next is Cheryl Pratt, and after Cheryl will be Kirk. So Cheryl, you can unmute yourself. There you go. Go ahead. All right. Uh, hello, everyone. I thought I would offer some words of love for our world. This piece I've shared before, I wrote it for an outdoor arts installation a number of years ago in Newton. And the installation was to represent um, empty chairs in a classroom from a number of young people lost to gun violence. And I know that we are witness now to many children being harmed and killed across the world in Ukraine, how we all are witness to the horrific events on media. And my thinking in writing this at that time is thinking that all of our world's children are not just of the parents, but their children that are belong to us all in a way as our world. And it is our, our job to help in looking after them um, in a united way. So uh, I was thinking that we need to find ways to look after the well-being and the safety the love and the care of all children around us because they are all our family. So I thought of this uh, title, which is Love is the Seed, is the Child is the World. And I started with an epigraph by Thich Nhat Hanh, which is, if we are peaceful, if we are happy, we can smile and blossom like a flower. And everyone in our family, our entire society, will benefit from our peace. When one seed of some small flower, let us call the one of we, is hurled out from the waters of its roiling mother sea, the seed afloat, how it listens to a thousand sounds beyond until eventual arrival into the weight of a mother's arms, saying, here I am to all the earth, waiting for songs of afterbirth. We all hope and we sing. Let the blooming begin. O oh, little seed, now can examine and take the new world wide in with so much of life that now keeps spinning and surrounds around its newborn feet and stems. Oh, how the little seed does in earnest reach its mouth to mother, to cry, to sing, to coo, hoping to receive the love and longed for tending to. We all hope and we sing, let the blooming begin. After many a fall and rise of the constant moon and sun, little seeds new stems so high while leaves stretch wide to everyone. Little seeds mass of brilliance makes the world pause to catch its waiting bated breath while love pours out like the rain pours down like a wild welcome deluge that brings the water 
to nurture another, soon to arrive from the sea of a mother one more time. We all hope and we sing. Let the blooming begin. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay, thanks, Cheryl. Up next is going to be Kirk Tomasian, and following Kirk will be Scott Wooden. So, Kirk, you can unmute and go ahead. All right, how's that? That's good. Thanks. All right. Uh, I'm going to play a song from, I think it's 1929. I did a little research on it. It was written by a, a black bluesman called Blind Blake. I'm sure a lot of people have heard it uh, in various uh, in, in, incantotations or whatever. Anyways, uh, it's called Diddy Wah Diddy. The first, first version I ever heard of it was Captain Beefheart. I had just moved to Los Angeles in 1988, and uh, I had a record player, and I used to go to the Santa Monica Library, and I got one of Captain Beefheart's uh, albums, and this was on it. But uh, after that, someone gave me uh, a Rye Cooter's Paradise and Lunch. It's an album from 1984, and he did a different version of it with basically just guitar. So this is it. Oh, here it goes. There is a great big mystery, and it sure is worrying me, Mr. Diddy Wah Diddy. Mr. Diddy Wah Diddy. I wish him would tell me what Diddy Wah Diddy mean. I got left and looked around. Somebody shouted, Who's back in town? Mr. Diddy Wah Diddy. Mr. Diddy Wah Diddy. I wish him would tell me what did he, what did he mean? Here comes a good about four feet four. Come on, pop and give me some more, Mr. Diddy Wah Diddy. Mr. Diddy Wah Diddy. I wish him would tell me what Diddy Wah Diddy mean. Church put my hat on the seat. Lady sat on it and said, Daddy, you're sure sweet, Mr. Diddy Wah Diddy. Mr. Diddy Wah Diddy. I wish them would tell me what Diddy Wah Diddy mean. I said, now, sister, I'll soon be gone. Just give me that thing that you're sitting on, Mr. Diddy Bar Diddy. Mr. Diddy Bar Diddy. I wish them would tell me what Diddy Bar Diddy mean. Then I got thrown out of church, cause I talked about Diddy Bar Diddy too much, Mr. Diddy Bar Diddy. Mr. Diddy Bar Diddy. I wish them would tell me, but did it, why did it me? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Good, good, good. Good, 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 great, great, great rendition. rendition. Good, good. I love that one. Uh, have you ever heard Blind Breaks version of it? Yes, I just listened to it this morning, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. I, I can't play it like he plays it. I, I don't no, know. Nobody can. He's, he's got that weird syncopation that nobody but him could do. Yeah. 
I, I love the church line. <laughs> the last verse. That's the best. It's a very 30s song, you know, the way it goes. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. Okay, so up next is going to be a, somebody who's new to the open mic, so we should give him a big welcome, Scott Wooden. And following Scott will be Joanna Katzen. So, Scott, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay, thanks. I should probably turn down my speaker, right? It's not causing a problem right now. It's not causing a problem? Maybe I'll leave it on then. Yeah. So, first of all, I'd like to explain to you what diddy wad diddy means. <laughs> I have to know. No, I just kidding. And I want to take, thank Tom for introducing me to the group. I met Tom a few weeks ago at the Winter Acoustic Getaway, and that was, uh, that was a great time, and I want to be part of all these groups. It seems like a lot of fun. So thanks for having me. This is, this is a song um, that I wrote, like, last Thursday. So it's pretty, it's pretty new, so I haven't really played it very much, but we'll, we'll try it out. Does it sound okay? Audio's okay? Okay. Told you. I screwed up a few times on my way to this place Over the pastures of green And all the women that came and went She's the hottest one that I've ever seen I had her figured the day that we met a stepping stone on to the next We'd laugh about this Someday as friends, yeah Someday when she was my ex Then the fall was amazing And the winter was cold And cold is the way that we felt You lied and I cheated We both were defeated But together in spite of ourselves. And I finally accepted you're not what I expected, and I'm sure not what you expected of me. We pushed through some years, and we drank back some tears, and tore up our excuses to leave. And found the love that lies between. You gaze through the pictures, all black and white, not sure what you expected to see. We both found something, didn't know that we wanted, but something we found that we need. Now we're through with all of this fighting by now, indifference can't pull us apart. You're still the one pushing my buttons each day, and just like you were from the start. And I finally accepted You're not what I expected And I'm sure not what you expected of me We pushed through some years And we drank back some tears And tore up our excuses to leave I don't know how many times We crossed over that line For something just out of our reach And found the love that lies We found we find the love that hides beneath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's so good. Great. Thank you. Uh, this. <laughs> That, that's you, your Scott. song, Scott. It is. Yeah. It's a really good, and great. Some great lyrics. It's a really great song. Thanks very much. Indeed, yes. Awesome. So welcome, and thank you for bringing us that that brand new, very good song. All right, thanks. Thank you. Okay, up next is Joanna Katzen, and following Joanna will be Alan Schmidt. So go ahead, Joanna. Yeah, I really like that, Scott. That's really nice. Um, I'm not singing an original tonight. I feel like we need something to lift our spirits a little bit because 
hard times, what can I say, even if they're not hard financially or otherwise for us as individuals, they are definitely emotionally hard. And what are you going to turn to when you, when you need something to lift your emotions and your spirits? So this song is by a, um, an Irish uh, singer-songwriter named Ben Sands. And I have put the, uh, the words to the chorus in the chat because it's really easy to sing along to. This is, it's a cool song. It's one of the few songs I, or maybe the only song I've ever come across where the melody of the verses is pretty much the same as the chorus. So by the time we get to the chorus, you'll have it. By the time we go through the chorus a couple of times, you'll all have it. And I encourage you to sing along, even though I can't hear you. You guys can hear you. It's called Hug. I remember I wasn't much older than four, maybe five at the most. And going to school mornings were colder. There's no such thing as a bus. Our mother'd be searching for school bags and combing our hair the wrong way. As she buttered our toast and buttoned our coats, here's what my mother would say. Well, we all need a hug in the morning and one at the end of the day. And as many as possible squeeze in between to keep life troubles at bay. No matter wherever you ramble, your problems be great or be small. It is my belief that for instant relief, a hug is the best cure of all. And when Adam was cast from the garden, and feeling that life was unfair. His temper was starting to harden when Eve said, I've nothing to wear. But God in his mercy looked kindly. He gave his wide shoulders a shrug. I'll give humankind a small piece of my mind and so he created a hug for we all need a hug in the morning and one at the end of the day with as many as possible squeezed in between to keep life's troubles at bay no matter wherever you ramble your problems be great or be small. It is my belief that for instant relief, a hug is the best cure of all. Now Archbishop Tutu from Cape Town continues to keep our hearts warm with his passion for freedom and justice and peace he was a man of great courage and charm his words had the power of persuasion to lead people into the night and if you would like to move mountains like tutu then hug everybody in sight for we all need a hug in the morning and one at the end of the day with as many as possible squeezed in between to keep life's troubles at bay no matter wherever you ramble your problems be great or be small it is my belief that for instant relief a hug is the best cure of all well a letter can bring consolation 
A phone call can brighten the night In the midst of great aggravation They can put at least some things to right But when your heart feels as if it's breaking Your life slipping down past the plug And you feel like a ghost Well, the thing you want most is for someone to give you a hug for we all need a hug in the morning and one at the end of the day with as many as possible squeezed in between to keep life's troubles at bay no matter wherever you ramble your problems be great or be small it is my belief that for instant relief a hug is the best cure of all cause we all need a hug in the morning and one at the end of the day with as many as possible squeezed in between to keep life's troubles at bay no matter wherever you ramble your problems be great or be small it is my belief that for instant relief a hug is the best cure of all great song very nice Wonderful. And, and if you look at the lyrics, you'll hear several, several different, different verses from the ones, from the ones that, that I sang. Um, um, if, you if you search for, uh, uh, you'll, uh, you'll, um, you'll, find you'll find this it. version, and he's amazing. His name again is Ben Sands. Great. Thank you, Joanna. Ben Sands. Thank you. Um, let's see. So up next is going to be Ellen Schmidt. And following Ellen will be Mel Green. So Ellen, you are unmuted. And you can go ahead. So I realized my daughter Wendy um, was keeping track of uh, how long we'd been together. And um, <clears throat> I was looking back at some of the things that I wrote for Alan, who comes every here every night. Uh, and. Uh, I was feeling a little wishing, hoping he would be around a long time. So that's the one I'm gonna do and it's called Wishing. Wanting 
wanting I want you all for me Missing you baby Tired of being alone I'm believing, really believing all that we could have together. Please, baby, won't you stay? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Alan. Let's see. Still getting an still echo, echo from somebody. From somebody. Oh, um, um, maybe, maybe, maybe it's you, Mel. Um, yes, I think it was, was you, Mel. Um, um, up next, up next though, though, is, 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 is going to be Mel Green and after Mel, Mel will, be will be Mike Centro. So, 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 so go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I see that when everybody is um, muted, it doesn't back up. I hope not. Please tell me if you could have the balances, voice and guitar. Guitar is maybe a little, little bit hot. hot. Really? Okay. I'll try to play it a little softer, okay? One sec. Okay. Okay. In this time Let's play every other, other string. string. Well. Shit. I was just joking. I was joking. Okay. Okay. Saying, saying every other string. Just use six. six. Will you please? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's nice to see you too. <laughs> okay. If you have a right. set of headphones, that, that will probably, probably solve, solve the problem. problem. No headphones. No, not tonight. Thank you. That would be holding you up too long. But anyway, this was in a sec. Um, okay. The song I'd like to do tonight is one of my own. It's a song about perseverance at a time of, of great, great um, adversity not very different to what is happening right now in this world. Somebody is being, there's a country being bullied and there's a country standing up to this bully. Now, we can only pray that this will turn out well. But in meanwhile, this is a song that's about another people that were under certain similar circumstances that the message is essentially the same. So, uh, Anyway, here we go. There's a light on the hill in the distance. There's a light, there's a light shining still in the night. There's a light on the hill in the distance. There's a light, there's a light shining still. There's an army at the gate, there's an army at the wall, they're gathered at the gate, at the walls. They said, see for seven days, for seven days they were besieged. We've had hope, seven days we've had hope. There's a light on the hill in the distance. There's a light, there's a light shining still in the night. There's a light on the hill in the distance. There's a light, there's a light shining still in the night. And the oil in the lamps 
had almost burned away. And for one more day, we could have a last to see. And for one more day and night, the lamps flickered in the breeze. Another night, blazing in the breeze. Now, you might want to look under audio settings and see whether you can turn the echo suppression up a notch, maybe. That might make a difference if you can't use headphones. Well, whatever it's on now, either put it on auto or put it one level up from where it is and see if that helps. But thank you, Mel. That was a great song. So up next is going to be Mike Santoro. And following Mike will be Snake Gullickson. So, Mike, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay. I there you go. You can hear me. Okay. Um, so this is a song uh, written by Billie Holiday and Arthur Herzog, I guess, in 1930. So the Internet told me this, anyway. 1939. <laughs> Spe 
and it ends They won't come round here no more Rich relations and they bring you That's great. Um, I'm not sure if I heard echoing from you, Mel, so maybe that helped. Okay, that, that, that's a great, have you ever heard Dave Van Rock's version of that? He, he really killed it. No. <laughs> oh, you should find that. Um, okay, so up next, I don't, Jan had to leave and I don't, don't see Charlie and Melissa. So after, so coming up next will be Snake, and then after Snake will be um, Tom Maynard. So go ahead, Snake. Evening, everybody. This is a song from 1988. It's written by Danny Flowers, James Brown, not the hardest working man in show business. This was a different James Brown. And Nancy Griffith, fabulous song. Gulf Coast Highway He worked the rail Work the rice fields with their cool dark wells. Work the oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico. The only thing we've ever owned is this house here by the road. And when he dies, he'll catch a blackbird's wing. And fly away to a sweet blue bonnet spring. We walked through springtime when I was home. Our days were sweet, our nights were warm. Seasons changed. Jobs would come, flowers fade, this old house felt so alone, 
when work took me away and when she dies she'll catch a bluebird's wing and fly away to a sweet blue bonnet spring I weigh 90 The jobs are gone We tend our garden And set the sun This is the only place On earth blue bonnets grow Every year they come and go This old house here by the road And when we die We'll catch a robin's wing And fly away To a sweet blue bonnet spring And when we die We'll catch a songbird's wing And fly away together To a sweet blue bonnet spring Lovely snake. Thank you, snake. It's a great song. Okay, so up next is going to be Tom Maynard, and following Tom will be Jane Fallon. So go ahead, Tom. You are unmuted. Thank you. So I'm going to do um, a David Surrett arrangement of a Scottish tune called Down the Bray.
That was wow. pretty wonderful. Great, great. Great, Tom. Great. That was, that was, that was, that was great. Great. wonderful. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Okay, that, that was wonderful, Tom. That's great. It's beautiful. So up next is going to be Jane Fallon, who is unmuted. And after Jane will be Bev Tappen. So go ahead, Jane. Okay, this is a brand new tune. Um, just wrote it yesterday and finishing it up. Many of you know a woman named Liz Freeman who lives in Wakefield and is a booking uh, manager at the Linden Tree Coffee House. Um, many years ago, 50 years ago, she lost her youngest sister, Nan, who was 18 at the uh, Florida Southern College here in Sarasota. She was working for the uh, rights of the field workers with Cesar Chavez in the fields, and uh, she got hit by a truck and she got killed. She was the first martyr of the era um, of the, uh, the field workers of that time. And uh, I did a, some music for her a few years ago for the memorial. They have one every year for her. Well, this year on her 50th anniversary, they're going to paint two murals for Nan on the walls of the college, which is pretty, pretty cool. And, and Nan, uh, Liz asked me if I could I play, and I said, I'd like to write a song. And turn, in, in addition to the Beatles stuff we do, she, we do Imagine and things like that. So I haven't played this for Nan yet. I'm just finishing it up, so I'm going to play it for you guys first and see what you think. I based it on the fact that her, she was called Morning Glory by her friends because she'd wake up every morning with a smile on her face and just lighten everybody's mood. And I, in it, I threw some things in there that uh, Cesar Chavez had said in a eulogy, and um, Kadesh, the holy term for holy in, Ju in Judaism, and um, came up with something I hope that will be commemorative of Nan and tell her story. So it's called Morning Glory for Nan. Pick my little row of beans And I thought of those who feed us every day They toil in the fields Back breaking in the sun Out of sight and out of mind To most everyone And I remember the way that you always cared how you worked for justice in your special way and as i think of you i wipe back a tear hope you're always remembered wish that you were here morning glory bursting in the sun brings energy and healing to the heart of everyone morning glory glistening in the dew what brings the world such beauty sadly ends too soon love your neighbor as yourself seemed obvious to you while others were complacent, you believed that human dignity was everybody's right. Up to the moment of your own sacrifice. Oh, holy are the ones who say you matter. And holy are the ones who say I care. When the world turns a deaf ear to the whispers of the poor and the blind, I do injustice everywhere. I think of you. The morning glory symbolizes human life, they say. The challenges that we face every day. The shortness of the light Helping us to thrive The spirit that keeps us all alive Fifty years ago, so long and yet so short 
You'd think the cars would have been won by now. We will follow your example, the legacy of you and all that you stood for, the least that we can do. Morning glory bursting in the sun brings energy and healing to the heart of everyone. Morning glory glistening in the dew, what brings the world such beauty sadly ends too soon. Very very touched reading, reading all, reading all the eulogies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Chesa 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 gave a really nice uh, eulogy for her, and it was great. So it's like uh, it's neat that the college wants to do this uh, and commemorate her that way. So I hope that this is a nice one. I'll put put it by Liz and see if she likes it. I think she will. It, it's beautiful. Okay, so thank you for that, Jane. Up next is going to be Bev Tappen, and following Mom will be Ergo Canto. So, Mom, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. There you go. Okay, I'm sure they would have to love that. That was a lovely tribute, Jane. These are uh, two short poems written at this time of year, about this time of year. And the first one's called The Trail Not Taken with Apologies to Robert Frost. I followed the Great Hill Road, heavily sanded on melting ice to where it diverged to the wood and found a parking space. I took out my snowshoes and poles, tightened the bindings twice, set out down the trail, and then I felt the rain. The mountain had sent forth clouds which blotted out the sun. Much as I longed to go on, I knew I had to run. So I will remember the way to that white unblemished path. I'll come back on a better day to trace its beckoning track. And the other one is called a reminder. This morning, while the sun shone brightly on my breakfast, I was surprised by one flake of snow, then half a dozen in a swirl, a billowing, a crazy maze, a blinding white, while still the sun lit up the haze and shortly chased away the errant bit of storm back to whatever place it had migrated from, leaving me to ponder how often the unexpected causes one to wonder, warns me to be prepared. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. Those are good. Seasonal. <laughs> okay, so up next is going to be Ergo Canto, and following them will be Deb Goss. So, Paul, you can unmute and go ahead. Okay. This is a, how long, I forget how long ago we wrote this song, 10 long years or something, ago. a long time ago. <laughs> it comes from a haiku that I read once. Um, you can hear me okay? Okay. Um, and the haiku goes, uh, broken and broken again on the sea, the moon so easily mends. So your mental picture is the reflection of the moon on the wa waters of the ocean or something with the waves going back and forth. Sometimes the reflection is broken up into a lot of little pieces. Sometimes it's just a nice straight little white line. 
so easily mend. So this is Hannah's moon. I have no idea who Hannah is. That was Leslie's idea. <clears throat> I'm going to do that again. The moon was playing games that night. Dodge and tag with the dark and the light. I was out searching for signs last night, and the road was a ribbon in the pale moonlight. And the moon played games with the stars on the windshield screen. Then the road came alive, and it drew me along. To the end of the land where time was gone when the moon broke through danced on the broken sea and the moon in the sky danced the darkness of night and the moon on the sea Broken pieces of light And the moon in the sky Dance the darkness of night And the moon on the sea Broken pieces of light So easily men From the moon on the sea to the seas on the moon I drifted away from the road until soon I was walking the sands looking down on the earth and the foam Saw myself on the ocean in the moon's silver glow Apart and together above and below when the sea of tranquility caught me and carried me home. And the moon in the sky danced the darkness of night. And the moon on the sea broken pieces of light. And the moon in the sky dance the darkness of night and the moon on the sea broken pieces of light so easily man Marching over the floor Saw myself in the mirror Like a moon on the sea Apart and together I forgot all the words Tomorrow, tomorrow Is waiting just outside the door And the moon in the sky On the sea, broken pieces of light, and the moon 
in the sky Dance the darkness of night And the moon on the sea Broken pieces of light So easily meant It's so easily Sorry, I muted. Oops, where'd you go, Paul? Oh, uh, well, it looked like I got <laughs> muted, so I, I, you know, I was, I was, I was trying to, mute trying to somebody remember else. that last Sorry. verse, but uh, <laughs> blanking is blanking. It was a great song, Paul. Thank you. Verse, uh, missing verse or not. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Paul and Leslie. Up next is Deb Goss, and following Deb will be Doug Danforth. So go ahead and unmute Deb. Hey, I think I'm unmuted. You are. Now all I have to do is get my screen small enough so I can see the lyrics that I don't know all of. <clears throat> um, let's see. This is, I, I have a song that it has haunted me ever since I first heard it, which was ages and ages ago. Um, and, and there's another song by the same, with the same title. And they sort of definitely have something in common, which I didn't know exactly. So the song that, the, the song, not the song I'm going to sing, but the song that um, has the same title and is sort of about the same thing. Well, it, it, it's about the same image anyway so the it, it's an old folk song oh chich oh it's actually a gypsy song gypsy violin song oh chichonia ochi zhuzhia ochi straznia i preklaznia kak lublu ya vas kak boyus ya vas znatu videl vas ya nev well, so that's the folk song about the woman whose eyes entrance uh, a gentleman. And you get the feeling that she was probably in on the deal. Um, but the song I'm going to sing is, as, I, as it turns out, the same image inspired the song, and I never knew it. This is a Dylan song. And it doesn't have much in the way of a melody, but it sure has a lot of words that conjure up images that uh, it's just been running, running through my mind. Um, and it's just, just one of my favorites. And I've got a million meanings to it that have gone through my mind over time. Um, so here it is, Dylan. I'll explain it to you if anybody wants to know, or you can look it up on Wikipedia or in his bio. Anyway. Oh, the gentlemen are talking, and the midnight moon is on the riverside. They're drinking up and walking and it is time for me to slide i live in another world where life and death are memorized where the earth is strung with lover's pearls and all I see are dark eyes. 
a cock is crowing far away and another soldier's deep in prayer some mother's child has gone astray she can't find him anywhere but I can hear another drum beating for the dead that rise, whom nature's beast fears as they come. And all I see are dark eyes. They tell me to be discreet for all intended purposes. They tell me revenge is sweet and from where they stand, I'm sure it is. But I feel nothing for their game where beauty goes unrecognized. All I feel is heat and flame and all I see are dark eyes. Oh, the French girl, she's in paradise, and a drunken man is at the wheel. Hunger pays a heavy price to the falling gods of speed and steel. Oh, time is short. And the days are sweet, and passion rules the arrow that flies. A million faces at my feet, and all I see are dark eyes. Mm. Thank you. Lovely. Oh. I would never on about how helpful this is because, because it's, it's um, um, he, he, he encountered, encountered a, woman a woman with a lot of streaked makeup in her eyes whose life was not her own. And there's nothing you can do. And all these other images are just right out of the newspapers and all the stuff I've been seeing lately. And it this is the song, the lines, just my favorite is, I feel nothing for their game where beauty goes unrecognized. All I feel is heat and flame and all I see are dark eyes. Mm. Mm. Oh, well. That's Dylan. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just mysterious, but it's beautiful. Thanks. Well, I just looked you, it Dylan. up and, and, and the, thing I, the thing I found said something about Tommy Dorsey was behind it. <clears throat> Maybe it's a funny page. Well, no, that's that's mm. Ochi Chon, yeah, Ochi you use, yeah, that's the Gypsy Love song. <laughs> Not the Dylan song, obviously. <laughs> okay. So thanks, Dan. That was that was a great song. Great choice. Everyone has <laughs> recorded Ochi Chon, yeah. <laughs> Everyone. Uh, so up next is going to be Doug Danforth, and following Doug will be Ron Israel. So Doug, you are unmuted, so you can go ahead. All right, something a little different. This is a very short piece by Fernando Sor, a Spanish composer who lived about 200 years ago. And it's actually the first of a series of etudes. And uh, one of the things... I told my guitar teacher, is, I need to go back to the beginning and do some easier things. So this is part of that effort.
so nice. Lovely. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Thanks for that, Doug. That was beautiful. Well done. Okay, up next is going to be Ron Israel. And following Ron will be Tom Horsky. So, Ron, you can go ahead. You are unmuted. Can you hear me? You're good. Okay, this is a song <coughs> called um, The Ballad of Vladimir Putin that um, I originally wrote on a CD I did <coughs> uh, right after the 2016 election where Putin played a big role in um, corrupting the election process. But I updated it recently uh, in view of what he's doing in Ukraine. And um, the melody is uh, borrowed from The Lonesome Death of Hattie Carroll, also a Dylan song. Vladimir Putin met the Chechenian rebels at a secret location in the Ural Mountains. They didn't even have a common language. The meeting was over in less than five minutes. Then Vladimir Putin summoned his forces, destroyed the rebels, installed his own people. And you romanticize about another time. Take the rag away from your face, cause now you must pay for your crime. Vladimir Putin rigged the US election with the help of some insider information Broadcasting news that didn't mean nothing, but allowed someone else to believe it meant something. And you who romanticize about some other time, take the rag away from your face, cause now you must pay for your crime. Vladimir Putin can't stand opposition. He jails him and kicks him out of the country and some get poisoned. In strange places like Boris Nemtsov in front of the Kremlin or Alexander Litvinenko in a London hotel room or Alexei Navalny on a plane from Tomsk. So you who romanticize about some other time, take that rag away from your face, cause now you must pay for your crime. Vladimir Putin fights the Ukrainian people in a fight he can't win, even if he wins it doing things that his mother would disapprove of. Bombing hospitals, killing civilians, turning civilians into refugees, and sticking a finger in the face of a democracy. So you who romanticize about some other time, Take the rag away from your face. Now you must pay for your crime. What should we do with crazy Vladimir Putin? Allow him to go on just as he pleases, upending his country and the world that they live in, or convict him for being 
a vicious war criminal and allow his nation to regain its freedom. Oh, you who romanticize about some other time. Take the rag away from your face, cause now you must pay, now you must pay for your crime. Thank you, Ron. Yes, it would be great if he would. Okay, so up next is going to be Tom Horsky. And Tom, you can set yourself up and unmute. There you go. Uh, some great songs tonight, I'll tell you. So this is a song some of you will recognize, performed by Mississippi John Hurt. He calls this one, I Can't Be Satisfied. so long deep and wide yes I got the blues and I still ain't satisfied satisfied 
I got the blues, I can't be satisfied We'll keep the blues, I'll catch that train and ride A lot of you have heard this story before, but I'm going to tell it anyway. We are pet goats. They're rescued from the MSPCA, and their job is to live in the field by the house and eat poison ivy, and they've been out there lately enjoying the spring weather. But we named them for famous female scientists and engineers. Jocelyn Bell Burnell, who discovered the pulsar, but her supervisor got the Nobel Prize for it. Rosalind Franklin did pioneering work in figuring out the structure of DNA, and some men got the Nobel Prize for that one. Grace Murray Hopper, a pioneering computer scientist, wrote the first compiler for COBOL. And Tabitha Babbitt, a shaker who invented the circular saw. But I, I need to admit, though, that when I say we named them, what I really mean is it was my wife's idea, but I'm taking credit. The girls are planning a party, groomed from tip to toe. Sure to be music and dancing, regular fade do Inviting all the neighbors, woodchuck, squirrel, and rabbit. Jocelyn, Rosden, Grace, and Tabitha Babbitt. The girls are feeling their oats today, a sparkle in their eyes. Sun is higher in the sky, south winds on the rise. Sent on the breeze of flowers and trees and leaves to tease the palate of Jocelyn, Rosden, Grace, and Tabitha Babbitt. Robin's returning, maples are budding, daffodils dreaming of bees busy bumbling, rain early morning brings scent of earth warming, bullfrogs are singing, tadpoles are squirming, every blushing sunrise, a new world is revealed, and the girls are going dancing in the field. Frisky, ready to paint the town. Shaking off their winter coats, don their summer gowns. Fun flew south, the bluebirds. Now it's back, so grab it. To Justin, Rosden, Grace, and Tabitha Babbitt. Light de die, de dee 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 Thank you. That is a wonderful song. Thank you. Nice song. Very nice. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. So up next. So thank you all for coming. The next open mic will be the first Monday in April, which is Monday, April 4th. I will put up the sign-up sheet for that <laughs> shortly. Um, I hope you all can make it. And as I mentioned last time, we will be having a live open mic 
the first Monday in May, which I believe is May 2nd, so you can plan for that. So, good to see you. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Great night. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dan. Nice to see you all. Good night, everybody.